Specimen Collection Standard precautions should always be followed whenever samples are obtained from patients. Use the supplied sterile single-use specimen collection swabs. Nasopharyngeal Specimen Collection Step 1. Tilt patient's head back 70 degrees. Step 2. Using the sterile single-use specimen collection swab, carefully insert it through one nostril of the patient until you reach the surface of the posterior nasopharynx, less than one inch until resistance is encountered at the turbinate. Rotate the swab gently two or three times. Hold the swab in place for five seconds to absorb the specimen. Step three. Specimens can be collected from both sides using the same swab, but it's not necessary to collect specimens from both sides if the mini tip is saturated with fluid from the first collection. Step four. Remove the swab from the nasal cavity. The specimen is now ready for processing. Oropharyngeal specimen collection. Step one. Tilt patient's head back 70 degrees. Step two. Insert swab into the oral cavity without touching the gums, teeth, or tongue. A tongue depressor may be used. Step three. Swab the posterior pharyngeal wall using a rotary motion. Step four. Withdraw the swab from the oral cavity. The specimen is now ready for processing. Test procedure. Step one. Add all of one single buffer, 380 microliters, into single-use extraction tube. Step 2. Insert the specimen collection swab into the extraction tube, which contains 380 microliters of the buffer, and rotate the swab constantly. Repeat 10 times. Step 3. Squeeze the swab on the tube wall so that the liquid is extruded continuously. Take out the sample and discard the swab according to the treatment of infected items. Step 4. Cover the extraction tube with its dispensing tip. Remove the test kit from the sealed foil pouch. Add two drops of the treated sample vertically into the sample well of the test kit. Step 5. Wait 15 minutes to interpret and record the test result. The result is invalid after 20 minutes.